here is the original ballast keel, iron, that she had when she was launched, which only drew 4 foot 11 to the board up, she used to be a centerboarder. Then, at some point in the 1950s, they added a lead ballast shoe underneath, and then they added a lateral plane, a big chunk of wood that came all the way back. Well, because of the way they put that together, we were unable to, or at any time since that project, unable to access the, the keel bolts for inspection or replacement. So we decided the best thing for the vessel was to remove the ballast keel completely and start new. And so we're going to put in, after all this is removed, we're going to put in a 24 inch Sapelli timber and there'll be a lead keel beneath that with bronze bolts. While we're doing this, we're going to redesign and build the rudder uh, to improve her steering. And the rudder is quite aged, and because it used to be a rudder for a shallow draft vessel, it doesn't go down all the way, so we'll have a much better rudder here when we're finished. Okay. The idea was to hold the boat up in the air. She weighs about uh, uh, maybe 80,000 pounds, and the keel weight um, is around 26,000 pounds. And so we're supporting that while we um, cut away. If you look, you can see these big timbers and big concrete blocks. That's what we're using to hold the vessel up in the air while we do the work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you.